Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? I am great. Great, that is absolutely great. So, what is your name? My name is Indu Madi. Lovely to meet you. And where are you from? Nice to meet you. So, where are you from? I am from India. Great. Where in India? Uh, southern part of India. I am living in Tamil Nadu. Awesome. So, what brings you to Cambly? What? Why are you here on Cambly? Uh, um, because uh, my self uh, improvement. Excellent. Self improvement. That's great. So, What's the what name? do you? Oh, so my name is B. I am from South Africa. Uh, I'm living in. Vietnam. How long have you been uh, living in Vietnam? I have been living in Vietnam for nearly three years now, actually. It's been quite a while. Um, but yes, I am an English teacher here. So. Oh, uh, you, are, uh, yeah. you teach uh, online only? No, so I teach also at English centers. So these are where the students will come after school and then they will study English with some uh, native teachers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and now you are working in school. Now, now also so, you're working in school. Now, uh, yeah, so at the moment, well, unfortunately, because of um, coronavirus, I am at home. home. Yeah, like the rest of the world. Um, <laughs> so I am teaching off of Cambly, but normally, in addition to Cambly, I will teach at a school as well. Okay. Oh, how many hours have you spent on Cambly? Daily. Oh, how day. many hours? So per day, it would depend, obviously, if it's coronavirus time or no coronavirus time. But um, now during the coronavirus period, I probably work about three to four hours per day on Cambly. You look so young. <laughs> I look so young? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's a good thing. <laughs> you look so cute. Uh, you look small. You look like a small girl. Oh my gosh! I hope that's a good thing. I am. I'm 24 years old, so I'm definitely old enough to be here and be teaching you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about yourself. Do you have any children? Are you married? Uh, did you study? What are you doing for work? <laughs> um uh, I am uh, I am a farmer. Awesome, that's so cool. Yes, uh, I have two daughters. I got married before 6 years. Oh great, excellent. Wow, so you've been married for 6 years now. That is great. And yes. how old are your daughters? Uh my daughter is uh, uh, 5 years old. Uh, one, uh, my younger daughter is two years old. So cute. They're still so young. Oh, that's like the best ages when they're young. <laughs> yes. That's great. Mm. So you said that what? you're a farmer. Uh, no, no. I just uh, uh, standing in a uh, school garden. Beautiful. My, my house is near a uh, school. Nearby school, so I I'm uh, standing in school ground. <laughs> wow, it's absolutely beautiful, I must say. I have yes. always wanted to visit. This uh, this is look like park. Yes, it really does look like a park. I really thought that that's where yes. you were. <laughs> yeah, lot absolutely. of trees there. Absolutely beautiful. India is like a, a, a wonder of the world when it comes to nature. Definitely a place to visit one day. Have you ever been? Uh, no. Never visited in India? I haven't visited India yet, and I really, really want to, though. Um, I've had quite a few friends 
and um, they have all told me that it's been an absolutely amazing experience. Um, some have gone, you know, to visit the more popular places like New Delhi or, um, you know, others have gone to kind of the more quiet places like um, Rishikesh. So it's, mm, yes. it's a very beautiful, dynamic country. I'd love to visit. Uh, there is, there are in uh, North India, but I live in South India. Yes, 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 yeah. Those places are in North India. I haven't, I haven't even been to either. So I'm hoping that I can visit both the North and the South. Mm. And what about you? Have you traveled um, outside of India before? Uh, North India? No, I never visit. Uh, I visit just uh, South India only. Mm. That's okay. Uh, yes. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, temples is there, uh, a lot of historical places there, a lot of natural, uh, natural scenery is there. Yes. Oh, absolutely beautiful. I feel that, you know, you must be able to be so centered living, you know, so out in nature. And, um, yeah, this just must be really, really beautiful. Yes. Um, do you like uh, music? I saw your profile. Do you like music? I absolutely yeah, love uh, music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I've ever heard uh, Indian music. Yes, I love Indian music. It's beautiful. It's so, I feel like I've said beautiful a million times, but it's so, so beautiful. Um, uh, like I said, I had a few friends um, who have been to India, and um, mm. I like I've experienced a lot of the music and things through them and through their experiences. It's extremely uplifting and charismatic, the music. I, I love it. Okay, do you know uh, yeah, Ragman? No. <laughs> but I will read yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> Oscar Award. He is a winner of Oscar Award. Oh, wow. uh, and a great Indian musician. Wow, I will definitely, like, I'm not too up to date with, like, who's won Oscars and such, but I will definitely yeah. research. I can imagine it's great. Yes, you definitely are. Uh, uh, A.R. Raghman songs. A.R. Raghman. A.R. Raghman. I'm yes. going to have a look. <laughs> yes. If you could go to another country, where would you like to go? Uh, I, I never visit any country, but I would like to know, I would like to go um, uh, Dubai. Yes, definitely. I have a cousin who mm -hmm. lives in Dubai. And um, I went there a little bit um, to stay with her. And it was amazing. Such a fun place. You should definitely go. Yeah, well, the longest uh, uh, building, uh, tallest building, yeah. uh, Burj Khalifa is yes. there. Do you visit? Yes. I, you visit there. I went there. It was so crazy. Like, it's so tall. You can't believe it. Like, when you're standing at the top and you see the whole of Dubai, it's insane. Yeah, I would like to see, but uh, in future, maybe. Uh... Yeah, for sure. I think uh... probably, first of all, after coronavirus, whenever that ends. And then <laughs> definitely, you know, um, if you get the opportunity, go, go. It will be so good, even for you and your family together. It would be amazing. Ah, but I have no passport. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'll have to work on that. <laughs> There's no easy way around yeah, that future, one. <laughs> in future, I get passport. Yeah, there. first apply for the passport and then maybe think about that. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Uh, so you said that you are a farmer, right? Yes, yes. What exactly do you farm? Do you do um, vegetables, fruit, animals? Uh, I, I have coconut farm and a mango farm. Yum, that's so delicious. Oh, my God. I wish I could, like, live on your mango farm and eat all your mangoes. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of varieties there in my mango farm. Uh, wow. Yeah. 
very tastiest uh, mango is there oh wow that is absolutely amazing so do you have to like wake up every day and like go and like weed the plants yes. and oh my god that's a lot of work <laughs> Yes, but mango is a seasonally fruit. Oh, I see. So when it isn't um in season, do you grow something else? Yes. Um, only three month is uh, uh, three month. Only three month is the season mango season. Oh wow! Oh wow! So it's really not long at all. And when you can't grow mangoes, what do you grow? um yeah mango uh, i have coconut palm also mm -hmm. yeah it's uh, unseasonal you know yes yes coconut. coconuts always coconuts are the strongest <laughs> yes uh, and then uh our uh, oh, sorry <laughs> and and then a little bit uh, quantity mm -hmm. i i grow uh, some vegetables in my home garden great that's amazing I, I really wish I could have like my own vegetable garden because there's there's nothing better than like the taste of like home grown fruits and vegetables. It's like so fresh. Yes, and... it's very organic. Yes, yes, yes. exactly. It, it's so great. Um, now that I live here in Vietnam, there's a lot of uh, you know like people who sell fruits and vegetables that they've grown themselves as well, and the freshness that you experience is just so different from what I'm used to. So I can imagine it's amazing. Mm. <laughs> But you don't have uh, any form? I don't have any. House garden? No, so I House, uh, I just live in it. Apartment. Um, you know, that I have like a little tree and stuff like that, but no actual like space for vegetables. Well, I could maybe try. You might have inspired me. I might try to grow some vegetables inside. <laughs> I do like photography. I do like photography also. What kind of uh, uh, pictures you take? You shoot? Yeah, I absolutely love photography. Um, I love to do kind of landscape and people photography. Um, my favorite thing is to kind of um, go out and explore and just sit down somewhere and watch people. And Picture if I can see a, a nice scenario, I think that that's a, a great thing to take a picture of. <laughs> okay, I cannot see you now. Hi, here only. Oh my god, it could possibly be a connection error. I'm so sorry. Sometimes the servers can be a bit loaded. <laughs> okay, uh, but you see me? Yes, I can still see you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my skin is very black. <laughs> oh no! no. Uh, <laughs> It could possibly also be poor signal. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Now I see you. Oh, you see me again? Okay. Cool. Perfect. <laughs> uh okay and now time is out. I yes, think. we only have a few more seconds. Time goes by so quickly. <laughs> I I hope to 